Hey, what's up? T-R-O-Y to Maker checking in. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful acrylic sign that says beautiful. Now, acrylic signs can be used just about anywhere. I have some coming in the entryway. Like when you come through the door, I have a acrylic sign hung up right there that I made. I even have an acrylic sign hung up in my bathroom. This particular sign, I think it's going to be used actually for a backdrop, like a, not a backdrop, going to be used to put in the back of a YouTube space, a YouTube studio, just like to be hanging in the back. How I got like the light back there and you see Troda Maker on the TV is just going to be used to hang in the back like that. I think that's what this sign is going to be used for. So the material that I'm going to use for this project is going to be some purple acrylic and some white acrylic. Both of them is 1 8 inch thick and I'm also going to use some acrylic solvent. So I'm going to show y'all how I designed it. Okay now we in Corel Draw. So the font that I chose for this beautiful sign is it's called Clarissa and it is 100% free for commercial use. Okay so we're going to go over here to the font tool right here and we're just going to select somewhere in there and we're gonna select the font called Clarissa. And we're just gonna type in beautiful. And we're going to make it right at 17. All right, let's center it. Let's just put it in the center of the page. We're gonna make another page. I'm on page five. That's because I already made the beautiful sign right here, but I'm showing you how to make it. So we're gonna make a new page. Go over here to the beautiful and we're going to select it, edit, copy, edit, paste. Go up here to object and we're going to convert to curves. We're gonna go over here and select the contour and we're going to go 10 steps on the outside. So we select it like that and it's gonna do that. So I'm gonna select out of it and this is the contour because this is gonna be the shape of the letters. That's how I wanna cut it out. We're gonna select the whole entire design, go up here to bitmap and go to convert to bitmap. And we're going to select black and white. We're just gonna go up here, we're gonna trace it. We're gonna do a quick trace. We're gonna go up here to object and we're going to move that quick trace to the back. As you can see the little color change. So you're gonna select that bitmap that we had at first and we're just going to delete it. So we're just gonna select it. Let's put a hairline around it and we're going to unfill it. So now this is the shape of the beautiful sign that we just created. We're gonna go back to the beautiful sign, select it, select object, and we're going to convert to curves. Put a hairline around it and we're going to unfill it. And as you can see, the letters is intersecting with each other. We're gonna make it one solid piece. So what we're going to do is go over here to this virtual segment delete. And we're just going to, let's zoom in, and we're going to select parts like this so it can be all connected. Go through each letter and make sure that they all connected. Select this tool right here and we're going to do a smart fill. So the smart fill, we're just going to select inside of it and it should all be one solid piece and it is. Go up here to edit and we're going to cut and we're going to go over here to this contour that we created and we're going to edit paste. And since it's still selected, we're just going to unfill it. We're going to select the word beautiful and we're going to go over here to our properties. If you don't have properties right here, just go up here to window, go to inspector and you wanna select properties right here. So we're gonna go over here to our properties and we're just gonna change that color to a RGB, like a purple color, because we're going to score that line. Let's select outside contour and we're gonna change it to a RGB red. Close that out. So now you can see that the red is gonna cut out and the purple is going to score it. So the next thing we're gonna do is go over here back to the other beautiful, select the entire design, and we're just going to delete it. Go back over here to this one, and we're gonna select this purple one that we did, and we're just gonna edit, copy, go over here to the other page, and we're going to edit, paste. Then we can go on and change this color to a red. We're just gonna slide this over to the red, and we're going to cut this out also. So we're gonna cut this out in the white acrylic and I'm going to do this one in purple 
and we're going to score this purple beautiful inside of it. Okay, we're gonna start with the purple acrylic first. In this, we're gonna take this purple and we're going to score it. And we're just gonna use, we're gonna use high quality score because we want it to be a little bit deeper. So we're gonna score it first and we're gonna cut it. Let's go over here and press ready. It's gonna take 13 minutes and 36 seconds. Since we got a lot of thin pieces, we need to be very, very careful pulling this out because I don't want to break it. Okay, I already took the masking paper off of the purple and I also removed the masking paper from the back of the word beautiful. Now basically, all I'm gonna do is slap it on there into the into the score lines you kind of can see like it's almost like a puzzle when you snap it inside of it and we're going to use some acrylic solvent right here to uh glue it all down Now I have let it sit for a couple of minutes. It don't really take that long for the acrylic solvent to dry. So now we just finna uh, take the masking paper off and see what it's looking like. And there you have it. I mean, it's beautiful. It's acrylic. I love cutting and engraving with acrylic with my Glowforge. If you made it this far, I will put a link to this file right here. Um, I did Inspire and I did Dream. All of them will be in the description below, a PDF file free to download. If you would like to cut or do whatever you wanna do with these, you can use any kind of colors you want. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I do projects like this all the time using my Glowforge. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Let's go make something else. Beautiful, just beautiful, just beautiful, just beautiful, 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 beautiful.